The Many Suitors of Queen Victoria Queen Victoria came to the throne in 1837. At the time of her ascension to the throne, she was the most eligible woman in Europe being the queen of a powerful nation. With this position and power came many men who wanted to tie themselves to the queen in marriage. Captain John Good fell madly in love with the queen. He stalked her while she lived in Kensington Palace and was eventually arrested for harassment and interned in a mental hospital. Other men who had no chance of ever marrying the Queen were Tom Flower, Ned Hayward and John Stockledge. Tom Flower attempted to profess his love for the Queen at her coronation but was soon arrested. Ned Hayward attempted to deliver a marriage proposal in a letter while the Queen rode on horseback but was unsuccessful and John Stockledge tried to meet the Queen at Windsor Castle, but was arrested and imprisoned. Three men of royal birth attempted to marry the Queen. Prince Christian of schleswig holstein sonderburg Glucksburg, later Christian IX of Denmark, attended the Queen's coronation in 1838. He sought the hand of the Queen while staying in London but the Queen refused. Though she refused, they remained on friendly terms and had made a good impression on each other, so much so that in the years to come, the Queen's eldest son, Albert, and the King's eldest daughter, Alexandra, would marry. Grand Duke Alexander Nikolovich of Russia was the heir to the Russian throne. During 1839, he visited the United Kingdom, where he met Queen Victoria. He spent a few days with her and they began to fall in love. However, both had a duty to their nations. Alexander would become the Tsar of Russia one day and a marriage to a queen was not possible. Victoria, as a queen, could not marry Alexander and so the couple parted on good terms, ending a love story that ended as soon as it began. Finally, the only man that had any real chance of marrying the Queen was her cousin, Prince Albert of saxe coburg and Gotha. The idea of the two marrying was first documented in 1821 by their grandmother, the Dowager Duchess of saxe coburg saalfeld Their uncle, Leopold, King of the Belgians, pushed the marriage between the two, and the cousins met for the first time in May 1836. Victoria was impressed by Albert's beauty and his demeanour. However, no formal engagement was made until October 1839 when Prince Albert visited the UK. Within a few days of arriving, Victoria fell madly in love with Albert and she proposed, which Albert accepted. The couple were wed on the 10th of February 1840 and they had 21 happy years together.